Water utilities provide billions of gallons of safe, potable water to customers each and every day. They take pride in delivering water free from contaminants and pathogens which pose a threat to public health. However, even when the water is delivered clean to the customer meter, that's not where the risk of contamination stops. One of the most common causes of drinking water contamination is the introduction of chemicals and pathogens through customer plumbing systems. This type of contamination occurs through a cross connection, which is any point in a plumbing system where a hazardous substance can contact the potable drinking water supply. Water system operators must understand how to identify cross connection conditions, how to prohibit or stop the backflow of contaminants into the distribution system, and how a cross connection control program can help safeguard public health. They also must work with and educate homeowners and businesses to prevent, eliminate, and control cross-connections. Unprotected cross-connections can result in a backflow or a reversal of flow of non-potable water or substance into potable water plumbing and possibly into the drinking water distribution system. Backflow can happen in two ways. The first is back siphonage. This occurs when pressure in the water distribution system drops to a negative or sub-atmospheric pressure and contaminants are siphoned or sucked into the system through a cross connection. For example, open hydrants during firefighting situations can lower the distribution system pressure and draw contaminants into the system through a submerged hose. This can occur through main breaks, fire flow, replacement work, certain flushing operations, and even periods of high demand. The second type of backflow is back pressure. This happens when the pressure in the non-potable system is higher than the potable supply system. In this example, an improperly plumbed high-pressure recycling system in a car wash can force non-potable water into potable system piping. Many commercial and industrial applications use high-pressure systems that may have cross-connections to the drinking water supply. Industrial chemical feed systems are one example. Pressure boosters for tall buildings or high points in the distribution system are another. High pressure can even exist due to thermal expansion in boilers and water heaters. In either case, backflow is caused by the difference in pressure between the water system and customer plumbing. Any potential or actual connection between potable and non-potable plumbing can cause contamination and there are countless possibilities for cross-connections.